In the Hagot. And uh, here in the Hagot, let's just go over it quickly and then just see how this um, affects us. According to this that we just said, what did we just say? We just said that the neshama of a person um, is no longer has atzmusay uh, shal yisbarach, the hefts of, of God in it, and that that goes into us. He says that's not what's going on. What's going on is that what we have is nitzaytzayis of or that come from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So what, you know, it's an existential question. What what are we, what do we have within us? Um, so it might be pretty to say that we have God within us, but he says, no, that's not what we have within us at all. Uh, what we have is the Nitzaytzais of Or. And he does tell us that, however, um, if you recall, on the Mauritian, that was different. He had Atzmusa Yisbarach, which to me um, is for lack of a better word, a red herring, because what that does is it opens up a, um, a whole possibility, which he goes on to say is impossible philosophically. So, um, a red herring is the uh, <laughs> is the shot that if you're um, a fisherman and you're looking for salmon, so you take find one salmon and you let it lead you to the school of salmon, but uh, you know, the fisherman can follow it for hours and hours and find out that it wasn't a salmon at all, it was a red herring. <laughs> and it doesn't lead you to anywhere, because red herrings are all alone. So um, I'm, I'm explaining that because uh, that's a good muscle. <laughs> that's a good muscle for what we're doing, like, you know. Um, so in the, in the, um, in the Haggai, he says, Well, Pisa yaskel ma'ayin lohavin al pipashat inyin anisker b'zayar parshas achrei. We could explain a zayhar, Everything starts to make sense, he says. Now, I pointed out, and it's obvious, that he's not quoting the Zayar that we always quote, the one we always sing about. The one we always quote is, Yisroel, the Arais, Vikutsha Brichu, Chad, Hu. Chazanish saying that, Nigan. So it's Chad. Chad sounds like Chad, Hu. Right? Yisroel, let's leave the Torah out for a second. Yisroel, El HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Chad, Hu. What does that mean? That sounds like Atzmusay Yisbarach is in the Israel. So you sing that nigan, you're saying you're making a real statement on the one hand, but it's a very Litvish nigan. Uh, um, but it, uh, then he quotes the Zayar, which says, it's really a different Zayar, that says, Shekut Shabrichu Vairais of Yisrael, you expect to see Chadhu, but no, Miskashrin Dabida. There's a Kesher. They, they, um, they connect to each other. It's Mashma that, that he held that this Zoyer is Mepharish the first Zoyer. God, who doesn't make any sense to him, so we could get a Pirush from Parsha's Achrei, last week's Parsha, that it's Miskash and Dabada, Vadai Oime Kavanasi Lusoydoi Samukim. This certainly means very deep things. Him calls that, Yeshla Hasper Inyan Gambe Pashto Salpizab, but we can't say Pashib Shat. Inyan, and what's the Pashib Shat? We started learning this, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a hidden aspect to him and a revealed aspect to him. There the Zayar is talking about the, um, the Shem Hashem. It's, it's red yud ke vav ke, and it's pronounced alav dal nun yud. So it's like the ultimate ksivan kri. It's like you're reading something completely different than, than what it says. Um, if somebody would pronounce Yudke Bavke, says the Gemara said, Hadrin, Eloi Chelet Leilam Haba. Lama Ad Kedekach. But just not covered for Hashem, so we need to learn. Somebody asked me a very interesting Shiloh, I'll just put this on the, on the side here. Uh, somebody who's into these things said that, you know, it does meditation. So you're not allowed to um, say the Yudke Bavke. We don't pronounce Yudke Bavke. Even there's a religion. Uh, named after you came up, they probably not allowed to say the name of that religion. Um, you know, you have to tell them, you know, are you a Jacoba witness or something? You know, you have to say it differently. But, uh, so he said to me, but in meditation, so um, you say words in your mind without actually saying it in, in your um, in your mouth. So is it okay to meditate Yud-Kei-Vav-Kei 
and pronounce it in your mind without pronouncing it in, in your um, in your out. Uh, so um, the answer to that question is I have no idea. Um, however, what the Gemara says is hoige, as as shame by series of hoige. The word hoge means um, to articulate. That's what it means to emphasize, to articulate. Hoge, that's what the word means. So bepastus means bepet. But uh, right, the art means my words. Opposite. This that my heart is articulating. That's that's what that means. Um, so just put the question aside because it might become maybe we'll ask in something here at the end. Kikuchabrichu sasim vegalia. On the one hand, the sasim yud kevavke. The other hand, galia adnai. The atzmus of Hashem is not possible to understand. There's no machshava loshen lezayer. Loy machshava. There is no machshava that can be tofes. Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Forget about it. That's something you can be tofes. Umashem musag lono maat minamat. A little bit that we can chap. Who rak mitzad his chabrusay lacha elamai smeish abram vechitshem. We can understand. The connectivity. I understand um, it's easier to understand. I'm just saying a muscle that um, that this light is giving off light because of electricity than it is to understand the electricity that's going on in the wall or in the in, in the generators. It's it's, it's more um, esoteric. It's more elusive to understand like what's what's going on. We can understand the polyoids like like so. Do you understand electricity? Yes. So, you know, you touch it, you get a shock. You turn it on, you get a light. You turn it on, you get a motor. So what you can get from electricity, so that's the hischabras, literally. <laughs> hischabras, so I love it. There's a chibur that's going on from the bakar to the poel yotze. Yes? It's hischabras, literally, connectivity. So hischabras, so I love it, is something we can understand. We can see godliness in this world, but you're not seeing God. You're not seeing electricity. You're seeing electricity in action. You're seeing what happens when there's electricity, but you're not seeing electricity. I, is that a good muscle? Uh, you don't. You don't see. You don't see. Open the wall. You don't see electricity. Oh, look at a plug. You don't see electricity. <coughs> you can only see the his, the hischabers. You can see what happens when when you are completing a circuit. So. But, it, but again, we, we mean that we, we're not seeing electricity as whatever electricity is. So it's not the same with Hashem. We don't see. We, I mean, this is very fundamental. It should be like in big letters. We're never going to understand. It is, and yeah, I'm putting in big letters here. Now, absolutely right. Extremely fundamental, right? That yeah. that don't think. It's so easy to fool it's ourselves. It's like, you know, it's, it's a Moshe saw a mm -hmm. Okay, so he saw the slab. He saw the shechina. You can't say he saw God. I don't know what he saw in the Harsina, I don't, I don't know. Where he says, I don't know. He got closer, apparently. But you see a snap, it's like seeing a light. So when you see a light, you know that there's electricity. So we, do we believe in electricity? <laughs> that there's electricity. <laughs> I believe it. Why? Because otherwise there wouldn't be a light. And, and, and I'm sure there are people in the case of electricity because of gosh, many engineers that do understand electricity. I don't. I try, but I just don't get it. I just don't understand, like, lightly, uh, Benjamin Franklin, I don't get the whole, Thomas Edison, I don't get the whole, I get, it's hard for me to understand the whole thing, because I certainly don't understand God, but I can understand, uh, I can understand um, the Bria, I can understand the Hishabrus, what happens when God connects himself to this world, that I can understand, and that's how he's medayik, the Lushan, of the Zayar that we just said, Shekut Shabrichu Barais of Yisrael Biskashrin the Beda. It's a Kashrin. Bashabusag Lalabat Midabat, Hurak Mitzat Hishabrusay Lahai Labais, Meishabrav, Vachitshab, Lahachyosav, Lakaibav, that he keeps them, that he he, um, in, he, he uh, keeps them alive. Korega La Nigam, Mashakasav Atta Machaya Skulam. You know, by the way, I mean, uh, maybe this is a deeper way of understanding what's always quoted even to, to, to kids as the, um, you know, from the Chavis Alvavos, that, um, you know, that the Chavis Alvavos says, how do you, how can you believe and why do we believe in God? So the Chavis Alvavos famously says that if you pour a bottle of ink on a table and it comes out to be letters and words, so nobody's going to say that there's no 
there's no writer here. That doesn't happen by accident. So the same thing, if you look at the world and the Bria, and it's so beautiful and so perfect that it is, it's just amazing. I mean, if you look at any part of the Bria, look at the human body, the, the, the biology of, of the anatomy of the human body, <laughs> half of a fella, it's just half of a fella how the whole thing works. Uh, just as more I read about it, fascinated by the more I read about it, half of a fella. So you can't say that it's by accident. It's like a little bit, um, it's a little bit like stupid, it feels, to say that it just happened like that, you know. Uh, so, so maybe what the Chaybis Abbas was saying, though, in Ba'obah Kandavar is, Elachalabi, you can't understand HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm, I'm saying a Chiddush here. <laughs> what, he, what he's saying is, you're saying, I don't, I don't see God, how can I believe him? Well, look at the Bria. Okay, the Bria is a light. The Bria is a Raya and a Simbad Muvak that there's a Bira. The Bria, the Nivra, is a Simbad that there's a Bira. But you don't see the Bira. You're not seeing the Bore. It's not that the Bore is of the tree. As hafludic as the tree is, or as the body is, or the human heart is, it's a, you're not seeing the Bore. You're just seeing uh, uh, the work, his handiwork. That's what you're seeing. So it could be what he was saying, the Chavis Abbas was a philosophical point, not just I'll bring you a raya that there's a, that there's a God in this world. You with me? Like, say something deeper. Lachain, Nishtab Chehu Yisparach Betfilaseinu. When we praise Hashem in our tefillahs, we say, Chai Ho'elamin. Baruch Chai Ho'elamin. Chai Ho'elamin. Ahaderes v'yamunah. Right? What's that got? L'chayyeh. L'chayyeh Ho'elamin. What's the difference? Chai is a matter of time, I think. Chai. You say L'chai. L'chai ho'elamim. Let's take it. L'chai ho'elamim means like a, like we're giving Yeshur Koyach. There is Rabuna to who? To who? To Rabbi? To Rabbi? L'chai ho'elam. To he who is the way he's explaining it, b'skasher to the world. Habina v'abracha l'chai ho'elam. Right. That that suvem and suvem and strategically placed in that in that song. Interesting. Usually, quite Yiddish in song. It's not, it's not just college, it's all, it's all the Bria. The Bria, everything Hashem created, the planets, the universe. No, oh, you okay. Where's the world in that? You mean, yeah. In terms of the, the place of, of the physical Bria, the, the those who deal with the. Um, <laughs> Fundamental physical forces in the world, gravity and these kinds of things, they're, they're explained by six constants that can define the formulas that this, in physics for all those different forces magnetism, gravity. The entire universe only exists because of these physical universe, because these six constants interact with each other in a perfect way to like a million decimal points. If it was off, if one of them was off, the whole thing would fall apart. A millionth of a decimal point. The whole world couldn't, wouldn't be able to hold together. Yeah. And so that's why these, the physical scientists are astounded by how the not just by so the, saying, the human body. The human body is a chromosome. You know, that's it's it's a uh, half of the big bang. Uh, big bang. Yeah. It's, I mean, so on the one hand it's just. On the other hand, it's it's um, okay. I mean, I'm saying they explain it evolutionary. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. You know, I'm just. I'm not going to get to that. But I'm just going to get to the proofs of God. But, it, but it, what, all I'm saying is one simple thing, that the most we could do is be bespoken into the biology, into the physics, into the, uh, the, the, the beauty of the Bria, and we see God, but we don't see God, we just know that there's God, it's a idea. You still have to make, <laughs> uh, uh, you still have to have some chachma here, you know, it's not like you see God. I remember Moshe Rabbeinu at the Senate didn't see God, he just saw a manifestation of the Shnina. So that's why we say, chai oi lamin. You only allowed a David to Hashem. This is to me a very confusing, this is really where I want to just take a tangent. Yes, we daven to Hashem and only to Hashem. Hashem is one, his name is one, and he is, right? We're not davening to Hashem in the sense that He's in the world. We're only davening to Hashem as He is attached to the world, enlivening the world. You get that? 
because I don't. So in other words, are you going to dab it to the light bulb or are you not dabbing to the light bulb? Uh, this was the choice of the Avodah the Zara, that they said, well, if, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu is to the moon, let's dab it to the moon. To the sun, let's dab it to the sun. So no, no, you're only allowed to dab in the Shalom. So apparently what he's saying is that they're davening on the wrong side of the connection. You don't dab into the sun, you dab into the to the to the the force which is enlivening the sun and illuminating the sun and making the sun work. I was thinking like um, you don't dab into physics, right? <laughs> but the physics is is the, the if the more you study it the more you realize that the physics is is a uh, you need something you need something to explain you need some kind of a higher force but it's it's a kash alabili to be tzadis chabrusi smarach ritzarnei apashit lahai labais vihi sasrei behem lach yosem and again let's uh, let's underline the sentence in our minds. We're talking about his hischabris to the world. Birtsono hapashet lohe lambais vihisasrei bahem lachiyos. And ritsoidei hapashet means the pure ratzon of Hashem. What's going? The, the fact that the world is is here is the pure ratzon of Hashem. Hashem wanted to create the world for His reasons. That's ritsoidei hapashet vihisasrei bahem, and then He hides Himself in those worlds lachiyosim in order to keep them alive. Now, doesn't that sound to you, or is it just me? That Hakadosh Baruch Hu is in the world, Atzmos Hashem, mm-hmm. but he just said he's not. He is, but he's hidden. <coughs> That's different than he's not. He says Atzmos Yisbarach is not in the world, not in our neshama. Can't say it's oh, where is he? He's somewhere else. He's hidden because it's only his chabrus. No, but if it's his chabrus, then it's not. Then if it's his, either it's his chabrus or it's nisalem. To me, there's two choices here. The way he says his sasra, which sounds like, you know, his chabrus is to join, but his sasra is like he's then in it. And that's the, it's like two things. It's a stira. It's a contradiction, right? This is the whole problem with symptom. Right? Yes. So I want to talk here for a few minutes about a subject which I don't understand, which is not unusual here. Um, to, and I want to speak about symptom. You see, the, the thing is, like, um, it's hard to understand Simpson. I'll, I'll explain a little bit. But it's also Im, Im, it's almost silly to learn this and not talk about Simpson because otherwise, what are we learning it for? We're just skipping to the parts that give us a little bit of chizik. That's not the, that's not, that's not a limit. So um, let, let's just explain a little bit on Mokim Shiyadeinu Magas um, what we're talking about. I WhatsApp to the time of Do you see the WhatsApp there? So the Rabbi Chaim was Rabbi Chaim Vital. Rabbi Chaim Vital. This is where where really the whole thing comes from. The group. Hmm? Did, did you get it? Because I don't know. Yeah, it's a cut and paste. Yeah. This one second. Okay. Let me just give a little bit of history to this. This is this is this quote that I sent you is from the um, from the Eitz Chaim. Eitz Chaim is the perfect record of Rav Chaim Vital of the Arizal. It's considered the accepted record of what the Arizal actually said. What's in, what's in, and I'm just really like the, this, the history for a minute of of Tzimtzum. The Mekubalim before the Arizal. Arizal was let's say the uh, the year was the Arizal? 1500s. Let's say the 16th century. So um, before him, there was it, there wasn't this discuss, there was this wasn't discussed too much, except for in other words Zohar words. But it wasn't the word Simpson wasn't discussed too much. But it was a Dover Pashat, and I always make this this very I think very important point in history. It was a Dover Pashat to the Rishonim like the Ramban and the other less known Rishonim that dealt in Inyanim of Kabbalah uh, that, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, um, not, is in this world, I would say. Well, let's put it this way. Um, there's, there's something called, um, in the world of philosophy, there's something called um, Neoplatonism. So what they believe those that believed in, that they're not Plato, I don't know if he believed in God, but the Neoplatonists did. And they believed that the world was created as sort of a hierarchy 
situation. So the Rishonim seem to have taken that as a Dabur Pasha. They, they, they accepted this. In other words, you have Hashem, and Hashem created uh, um, Gashmias, and then the Gashmias created more Gashmias, almost like an evolution that, that one thing came from the other, but they called it the Sphiris, the Chesed, Boriti, Varis, Natsach, Hajjusai, Malchus, until you got to this world. So it was a hierarchy and a sort of a. Um, it, it, they didn't get involved with whether Hashem put himself in that next level or he didn't put himself in the next level. The point was that Hashem created the world, Maskim, if you believe that, which they did, which we do. So Hashem created the world, and here you have the next level, the next level, the next level. And the, the further, this was the, the concept here, the further you get away from Hashem, the more particular it is and the more um, detailed it is and the more gashmius it is. By the way, it's clear to me that, for instance, the Maral um, took this idea. They didn't talk about the question as to whether Simpson, um, about Simpson, whether Hashem put himself into the problem, into the world, but it, but there was a problem because if you say that Hashem created something outside of Himself, so that means that Hashem is not everywhere. In other words, there, there's a basic philosophical <coughs> problem that, in the words of the Zayar, but it's not because we have a kash from the Zayar, leis asar panoi mene, Hashem was everywhere. And according to the Bukubalim, he was samsing himself, he pulled himself out, and then there was a vacuum, a cholol, and then he filled up the cholol with gashmis. Okay, all the fancy story that we have is Hashem everywhere, or is he not everywhere? Is he in everything, or is he not in everything? So the, the, the pashtus of the Rishayda was, no, he's not in everything. The Arizal said, how can it be? The Arizal came along and said, how can it be? How can it be that he's not in everything? Lesa sar panuimide. Like it's basic to say that he's that he's in everything. And that's, um, let me just say, that this was set over to, um, this quick history to the, um, to Ruchayim Vital. Da, ki tarim shenetz, a little bit, let's understand what we can understand. Ki tarim shenetz lo anetzol v'nivru hanivroim, before Hashem created the whole world, Hayo or Elyon Pashut Vimalis Kolamatsiya, obviously Hashem was everywhere and his light showed ever shone shined everywhere. There was no inch in the in the entire universe or beyond that didn't have Hashem in it. That's before the world was created. Says Rechaim Vital, the name of the Arizal, Oz Simtsem Es Atzmoy. And this is where the fun began. <coughs> now, we could just say, like, why they make this problem? Because otherwise, you have to make this problem. Because otherwise, you start getting involved with what is Christianity? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. What is Avodazara? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. It's an important question. It's an important question, but it wasn't clearly addressed. I, I read through the debate of the uh, like the Ramban with the Archbishop, he didn't talk about, like, he, he, they didn't get into the, they were talking about Mashiach. You know, how could he, how could Yashka be Mashiach if uh, if there's still wars in the world? Those were the kind of questions he asked. Oh, good. It's not yet relevant enough to, 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 to the question as, can, does God actually walk this world? So this is the Arizal's was concerned. He was mitzamtzem his eternity. Binakudahem sois. Just try to picture this because it's the best we could do. Binakudahem sois. You know, everyone's seen those Kabbalistic charts with the, all the concentric circles. So he he put, took himself out of the world into the middle of it. And from there he created out into the world, from this vacuum, he created out into the world until the until the, the middle was empty. So in other words, there there is a halal, like you know, like everybody has in their house over here, like an empty space. And then there was like a second stage. Where he brought this or ain soif kav echad yasher makam achalalu hetzul bar v'yotzer v'oses kolay lamay skula. Rechaim Vital. So there was a, the, he took. So let's just say it in simple words, which are possibly incorrect, but a little bit correct. And that is that before the bria, which we don't know what was going on before the bria, Hashem was everywhere. Keep shutay. 
That's what he says. And then, in order to create the Bria, because Ritzonai Pasha was to create the Bria, he was Masalik himself from the Bria. Now you have a Chalal. And what did he do with this Chalal? He built the Bria inside that Chalal. Um, okay, where does that leave us? With Akasha, right, Greg? Uh, what, what do we do with that? That's what the Arizal said. And, um, <laughs> That sounds like it's not sin, so if he took himself out and created something that... So he was Mitzamsim himself. That's the first thing. Now, when he put the world back in, so what was, where, where was God? Was it a godless world? That's the question. So, um, the Talmidim of the Arizal, other Talmidim of the Arizal, or Bar Hittim and others, they, they, they explain, but when he, when, when, the, when he created the world, he was mitzamtzim himself back into that Aurelian, which is also mashma here. Az himshich mi aharein soif kav echad yashar, u b'makam achol u'hetzel bar v'yatzara says kol elam is kulov. So to think about this in a sophisticated way, there was two steps. One step is where we he withdrew, and now you have a halal, and then he went back in there with gashmis, but the gashmis had him in there, but in a hidden way. Interwoven within the with the world. the world, hidden, hidden. When he says alone, he means this world, like the, we know it, or, or? Atzilos, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya. He means that, okay. That's the Kavayosha you spoke That's the Kavayosha. The idea of removing himself, isn't that a physical... Unto itself. ...transformation from one place to another, which is not <coughs> relevant to God? Yes. Of course, the question mm-hmm. of this is that God doesn't change. Mm-hmm. Ani Hashem, Leisho Nisi. Like, but let's understand what was bothering them. What was bothering them was that how could it be? Um, like, how did Hashem create the world? If there's Gashmis, doesn't that push away Hashem? So you have to say, well, it pushed away Hashem, so to speak, but that it was refilled with Hashem behester. So according to that idea, he's here. <laughs> he's here everywhere. Um, Came Lahabdil, um, let's say Shabsai Tzvi, and in the, in the writings of Nasan Hazati, the Talmud of, of, of Shabsai Tzvi, uh, and he went to town with this because then we could have a uh, incarnation of Atzvus Hashem in this world. <coughs> So to, and to, to, to him and to the Christians before them, that's what Mashiach was. So um, you, you know, not a, this is not just a regular human being, they argued. This is something different. This is Atzmus of Hashem in this world. Now, in Lubdus, that kind of works. In practicality, it's, it's, it's very dangerous. Pandora's box. Hmm? Pandora's box. Yeah. So, and, and the world was... Parkishif, everybody uh, accepted this 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 idea of Shab Tzvi. So if you look, look if you move in history, at the time of Shab Tzvi or his his students, um, it was it was very clear to everyone that God is everywhere and even within people. That was what they accepted, and then God died or God converted to become a Muslim and got like you know, Bakara. So it wasn't just a disappointment; it was a philosophical um, change. So the Goyin. Um, a couple of generations later. How many years, approximately? Century. So the the the, Vil, the Vilna Gaon, 140 years. Ago, the, so the Vilna Gaon comes along and he says that it's a, it Simpson can't be kibshutai. It, it's just a mushal. And what you have is, and this is being echoed, just like the Ari was echoed by Reb Chaim Vital, the Goyen was being echoed by Reb Chaim um, But what you have is um, the Nitzaitzis of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the, the, the aura of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the, the, the articulation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but not HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's, that's what the Goyen says. He says it in the Sefer Yitzira. He says it in a couple of places. The Goyen says in Nefesh Chaim, Reiterates this. Some say that that's the whole reason why he wrote the Nefesh Chaim was to explain that um, Hashem is not in everything. Because once you say Hashem is in everything, so here's our dilemma. Just held cup with me. Once you say Hashem is in everything, you have a, uh, a, a pantheistic problem. 
when you say Hashem's not in everything, you have a bigger problem because if Hashem's not in everything, so then that means there's something that's avoid of Hashem. And if Hashem is eternity, is ain't self, so where is their room? So you have to come up with this halal, and you have to come up with something. So all of these were um, were kind of reactions one to the other. But that's that's what the guide says. Now I'm going to show you something. Excuse me one second. Um, in the Bible, the Tanya, the Shara Yichud Ve'Amula, Parag Zion, he discusses this. It's like worth learning. But his, as I was gonna say, um, something like his point of view was that if there's a just because there's a philosophy which is making bayot, it doesn't mean you change the philosophy. Because, uh, as he says, which is what you said, that what are you saying that a Kodesh Baruch Hu changed over here? Are you saying that Kodesh Baruch Hu is limited? Is there a place where Hashem is not 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 here? So, besides for the the whole idea of that, then says the Balatani, there's no hashkacha pratis, there's only hashkacha klolis, but it's a mistake. But I just want to read you the Hidei, the Kanye, this is the Shari Yichud was written historically after the Tanya. So, in other words, there's the, the Sefer Tanya is one thing, today we have it all in the, the Lukut Yabar, which is the Tanya, but uh, here in the Shari Yichud Ve'abura, Hidei Mikanye Shlohavin. Shigagas mixas chachomim. He says we can understand now the mistake of the chachomim. He's referring to the Vilna Gaon. Hashem yichaper ba'ado. Shishagu v'tau b'yunam b'kisu arizal. They terribly mistake the writings in arizal. V'hevinyon v'hevinyon. They understood inyan hatimsum amusker sham kibshutai. They understand that when they say Hakadosh Baruch Hu withdrew himself. That they take it literally. Rock that so, so he's complaining about the gra, that the gra is understanding the Arizal that Akash Baruch Hu withdrew from the Bria, and he's only watching it from afar, so to speak. But his watchful eye is watching the whole Bria. Behine, so the Balatadia, Bilvad, she have Shaklal Loimer, Inya not Simpson, Kipshutai, Shuhumi Mikra Guval Kanish Baruchu. You're giving, first of all, he says you're giving God human tendency. He's here, he's there. You know, like, um, uh, you know, Uncle Moishi, you know, Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is really everywhere. That's because he's a Lubavitcher. <laughs> 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 So he's not a grunt. But he's not a grunt. No, I mean, he really is a little bit. But yeah, uh, it's not. A, it's no. He's he's he's. Uh, everything is very very. Uh, you know, manipulative here. So the the Nanuim of the Lulu is the same thing. Nanuim. Yeah. Up down. Same thing. Up down all around. Hanivdel mehem. So he's saying, Milvad. So this is a tiny on the graph. Not that we understand the Gra. I'm just saying this is what we're learning the Gra. We're learning the Nefesh HaChayim, right? So we're learning the Shittas HaGra. So, so here I, I found it for you in one sense. This is what I really should have taken a picture of. Ine milvad shiyev shaklal laimere nilat simsum kipshute shumi mikriyam gufal gufal akadosh baruchu. Now reason I wasn't talking about physical things. Shem withdrew. He's, he, he's not there anymore. Hanif del mehen ribu yirvavis habdol isan en keitz. Af gam zois loy vedas yidaberu. They're not speaking with das. They believe Shachanish Baruch Hu Yodeya Kol Ayit Serv Shabbai Lavazeh Ashafol Lavashkiach Alev Val Karchach Eni Diyos Abayis Abayis Sifu Bar Ribu Yivachinish Nei Shiyodeya Kol Biyadiyas Atzmai. It's not that Hashem knows what's going on in the world. He says from some outside point of view, as an observer, he, he is the world. Rekev Yachol Mahusay Vatsmusay Vedaita Akol Echad. Possession comes of a tikkunim. That's what the zayar says. Mavurish in the zayar. Leis asar panuim minei. Loy be iloin v'loy be tatoin. There is no place that doesn't have a shemin. Uberayim ahem the parshas minchas. You know the Chaim is also good at quoting zayars. I'm not, but the the rayim ahem. It's also the zayar. Parshas minchas. Iu tough is bekula v'leis ba the tough is be. He understands. He gets everybody, but nobody gets him. 
Nobody can get outside of HaKadosh Baruch let me explain this to you, says the Balatanya. Nobody can understand this. I admit to you, he says, that nobody can understand this. It's hard to understand. Impossible. Who understands God? Even Hashem in this world, it's not like we could maybe understand a little bit the neshama which is within us. No, we can understand the neshama and guf. We can give it words, uh, consciousness, emotion. You know, we can sort of give it words. This you can't understand. Energy. What are you going to understand? The neshama you can understand. Hakoyis, krirus, chamimus. We have physical attributes. Your point that there's no shinoi in Hashem ever. Right, the Hashem is not changing. The world is changing. Hashem is not changing. So you said here, here, Hakadosh Baruch Hu's memalei kolomen, but he's not nitfas. Nobody can happen. Anyways, he goes on and on. The, the, the point being this, the point, the point the, the way I understand it is, <coughs> which is a good point, I think, that the Balatani is making. The, the, the point is that, you know, um, as they say in yeshivas, you don't understand it, doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean that it, it, it changes. You have a problem. A dilemma, so you're going to end up with the shop site Svi, you're going to end up with a. Uh, what's very, by, by the way, what's fascinating historically is that more than the Gra attacked the Balatania, the Balatania attacked the, attacked the Gra. Because the Gra doesn't, to my knowledge, the Gra doesn't say anywhere that this is a toes and he's a toy, and later on he calls him a Kaifer. <laughs> Even though he's a God fearing Kaifer, he says. Meaning, meaning that the, the but, but what you have here, without, without you know, trying to you know, understand or, or certainly not to solve a machlokas, what you have here is the key machlokas, which goes back to Rishonim and the Arizal and the Talmide Arizal and the, the, the Baal Shem Tov and with, with his brother Lar Gershon and, and the Hasidim and the Balatanya who took it even further and then the Gra and Shabzai Tzvi in the middle as a, as a, as a, a thorn in our uh, side um, as to how to understand, it became very relevant to understanding um, God's place in this world. I don't, I don't want to solve that, <coughs> right, but what, what I, um, I think it's actually Ashay, like how you can understand it. But what, what's, what's clear is that it was machlaikis. That seems to me to be clear, that there, there is a machlaikis. What's interesting is that this, the story is that the Balatanya came to speak to the Vilna Gaon about it and tried to explain to him, this was exactly what he came for. He was trying to make peace between the Hasidim and the Masagim, trying to explain to him um, what he misunderstood in the, uh, in the Arisa. <laughs> Try that one on. <laughs> Uh, look, I, you know, like, you know, you, you shake when you say the building go. I mean, like, it's hard, you know, I mean, it's hard to even understand, the, you know, how, how, how smart is somebody, you know. Talmidim said that he was like one of the, uh, one of the Rishayda, maybe like an Amor, or maybe even like a Tala. I mean, it's hard to, you know, like Rameyer, you know, like, <laughs> these were, these were high, high Madregas. And the, but the building wouldn't see the Balatalia when he came. Right. Yeah, he wouldn't receive him. Um, obviously, he jumped out the back window and ran away for a couple of weeks. But um, I said to somebody once, like, uh, that it's 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 nice that the you know like the the, the Balatanya went to see the Vilna Gaon. So he says, oh, that's a like a Chabad thing to go visit Kaifer. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Is it true that I heard the Vilgan said that he didn't want to see him because he knew he would be persuaded? Uh, yeah, I said that. I, I heard that from uh, Rav Soloveitchik, all of a shallow. 
that he has a Basaira and his a brisker Basaira that, uh, that the Vilna Gaon said he ran away because he knew if he would if he would see the Hadras Padab up close mm -hmm. of the Balatanya, he would never be able to argue with him. Shabbat 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 Shabbat. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's interesting how, how uh, it, there's nothing has changed, right? I mean, it's, it's um, nothing has changed, but it's a deep, it's a deep Mahlokas, but in, in a certain way, I mean, again, I'm not, I, I'm in trepidation with the grub. But in a certain in a certain way, of Charlavin, that that the Vilagod was looking at the practical side of this philosophy and saying this is replete with problems, mm -hmm. and the Balatani was saying, you know, is is uh, maybe, but like you can't change you can't change Hashem because you have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure the Vilagod had a good. Good shot, or a good answer. I'm not, but I'm just saying that seems to be, from the Balatanya's point of view, the way it is. In reality, I'm just saying as as it uh, as it manifests itself through history, you know, even the last you know eight generations, uh, last last couple of centuries, um, you see a big difference. You know, you, you see you see a big difference. Well, why why should the, uh, the again? I'm just speaking philosophically. But why should the Rebbe be Moshiach, or the you know? Uh, Many, many Gedolim, you know, before him, after him. Um, the, the answer is because that it was it was their feeling, um, like Lahavdol of Abdul Sashapsite Svi, that we're talking about Smusa Yisbarach, and you're talking about a Barishan Koyin of Achet. So if you're talking about a Barishan Koyin of Achet, so yeah, that's this is not like a big Talmud Chacham. This is not just like a, just like another Ramosha Feinstein or something like that. The Rebbe himself <laughs> would have would have agreed to that. I don't know. I'm just, I, I, don't, I don't know, but uh, I mean, he obviously that, so. didn't, uh, you know, he didn't say no, you know, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, again, like, I don't know who's right, I'm, I'm just saying it's an interesting thing for us observers on the sideline to understand that the, 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 the yachas uh, to an achasid and the rebbe is different between than between a Talmud and his Rosh Hashiva, no matter how big you think your Rosh Hashiva is, um, the Rosh Hashiva nor the Talmud saw themselves as God. And, and on the contrary, it was always say, you know, chill, don't get too carried away. With uh, in, in the Lutheran world, you know, there's a lot of covenant out terror. I mean, I grew up with a lot of covenant out terror. But but covenant out terror is different than, you know, worship. Uh, uh, yeah, what could become worship? You know, you think that he could have been a Mashiach, but that's why he didn't say no. Could be. So um, so the, so this is this is this is the Mahlakas at Simpson. So when we're learning. Again, we're just touching the surface, and I'm not, uh, you know, my disclaimer is I'm not saying that I understand or I can explain, but I'm just saying what the machlokus is. So once we know what the machlokus was, clearly machlokus. I mean, they, uh, how how can anybody come along and say it wasn't a machlokus when the Balatani writes before he said that? Uh, what? I know, but I mean, he says shigigas mixes chachamim. He claims that there's old. Lashem is biashim. Okay, maybe we'll go into that, but the if you don't, it's all based on false information. That's what they. That's yeah. what they say. That's what Why is it that God changed if you don't want to? <coughs> if God, if God was is, is infinite and He was everywhere, so then that change that doesn't doesn't change. He still has to be infinite. He has to be everywhere. But what's what's interesting? Let me just just before I end, let me just make this last point here. That look what he says. Elamitzad, we can only relate to Hashem or Nafesh Hayim. Mitzad is chabrusay bertzani apasha elamis v'istiroi behem lach yosam. He also says. That he was master himself in the Bria. He's in there somewhere. So if he's if he's in there somewhere, so what's the machlekes? Mm -hmm. But it seems to be. Hester. He also <laughs> says Hester. He also says Leis Machshavat So so everybody holds Hester. Everybody holds a Vashkocha Pratis. Everybody holds. But he's saying that not to. But it, it it's not in the sense that this person could be God. Or more God than somebody else, or there's anything in the Gashmi's world that can be God. That can't be. And and the the, the pastures of the, the it, it's all a question of how you read the Arizal, who was answering a problem that that was a philosophical problem because of the the Neoplatonism <coughs> and the Gnostics and things you know all the different shitas that existed before. So. Seems like maybe it. we'll go further with this, or maybe we won't. Hester, but I just wanted to put that up. Hester also did not change, right? If you say Hester, it's only to them. If you hide, you're not changing. Right? Not changing.
It seems like a steer in the time here, but if, if he's bothered by the idea of removing himself from somewhere and creating a halal, then then Atzimus Hashem should be in a chair as much as a person. Yeah. But there's what is more. a person? That seems to be the same steer that he didn't like. There's, but there's there's also, I mean, L'Chathchila, Chai, Domei, Chai, Tzimea, Adam. Like there's different levels of of manifestation of godliness in the breed. So the tzaddik is midas how you say in order to have the highest level. So the chanami, the chair also, but the, the, the highest manifestation is going to be in this tzaddik, and that becomes Mashiach. But yeah, you have to be Mataritz that too. Right. Did neither Ram Hal's writings discuss any of this? He was kind of right oh. in the middle, wasn't he? Uh, Time-wise, historically? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Does, that doesn't touch this? He does. Oh. Getting too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it this way: the Hasidim did not like the Ramchal period. Did not. No. Oh, because uh, we know the God did for the Gospel. Yeah. Okay. The Leshem didn't like the Ramchal. Really? Hmm. 